हेलो 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 हाय गाइस गुड मॉर्निंग वी कम बैक टू न्यू वीडियो की हाल चाल आई होप यू आर डूइंग गुड इन दिस वी गोइंग टू कंस्ट्रक्ट स्ट्रिंग्स विद रिपीट लिमिट इट इज सिंपली गिवन दैट यू आर गिवन अ स्ट्रिंग एस एंड अ इंटीजर रिपीट लिमिट यू हैव टू कंस्ट्रक्ट अ न्यू स्ट्रिंग एज यू कैन सी स्ट्रिंग एस एंड रिपीट लिमिट यू हैव टू कंस्ट्रक्ट अ न्यू स्ट्रिंग आउटपुट न्यू स्ट्रिंग रिपीट लिमिट स्ट्रिंग लेट्स से इट नेम से इट्स इट्स नेम इज रिपीट लिमिट स्ट्रिंग यूजिंग द एग्जैक्ट करेक्टर्स ऑफ एस सो यू कैन नॉट यूज एनी अदर करेक्टर यू हैव टू यूज द all the characters which are present in s itself such that no letter appears more than repeat number of times so this number of times is okay how many consecutive characters i can make my output to have now you don't have to use all characters from s so okay there is an option that you don't have to use all characters from s now return the lexicographically largest repeat string possible again i will come back to this point that is this even a benefit or not now you have to return the la lexicographically largest repeat limit string possible now they have mentioned what a lexicographically largest mean so if you have a string a it is lexicographically larger than a string b if it the first position where the a and b differ string a has a letter that appears later in the alphabetical order in comparison to letter b so if i have a string a and a string b okay let's say this string a is here string b is here now the first character here let's say if it is c here it is a so it is later in the alphabetical order so whatever string will be this one will be lexicographically larger than whatever is this one now you might ask arin whatever they are like how, what if they are same what if both are c okay in this case if both are c they are given that if the first minimum okay characters do not differ then the longest string is lexicographically larger one so if let's say c a c a b c a b now what if they are same then the first non differing character which they will have obviously that will decide okay if let's say it is a d and this is it is a e so it is lexicographically larger but what if they have the same length then if it is nothing like it is empty then the larger length is lexicographically larger so coming on to this point it is always beneficial to use as many characters as possible so i will always use all the characters because i want lexicographically largest now coming on that what will be the answer obviously if i have this input string i know i have to use all the characters and i have to maybe shuffle them or do something for them that it becomes lexicographically larger so firstly i know i will have to use all the characters okay that's one thing now secondly i know that i want lexicographically largest which means out of all these characters whichever character has the highest uh like lexicographical order which means that comes later in the alphabetical character alphabetical order that i will place first so i can easily see that z is the thing which will come first so what did you see i want to know what all characters are there i want to know what all frequency are there so that again why 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 i need to know characters because i want lexicographical order why i need frequency because i want to maintain the repeat count how many i can actually place because you can see although my repeat count is 3 but my z frequency itself is 2 so this is the reason again first primary reason is that you want things in lexicographical order which means the character which is later in the english alphabet that should be given the most priority so ultimately i want to find out that character out of this list of characters i can have only lower case english characters so i am very easily like i can very easily say that i will have a to z characters but out of that i will be always giving let's say if i have a b c d e f till z so i will always be giving z first priority then this then this then let's say e then d then c then b so this is in the order i will give the priority so max priority max priority as in max priority is in okay max uh, like leverage or like you know max benefit i will just always be getting by taking the highest character value and then this is the least priority so obviously uh, it makes sense that even if i have these characters i should either maintain a hash map for it i can maintain a sorted set for it i can maintain a priority queue also for it i can also maintain a simple array for it which is a simple array where this is a this is b this is c this is d up till this is z why because i only have 26 characters in the english alphabet so there are multiple ways to approach it but because 
as I'm taking character and frequency both the sorted map makes the most sense. So what I will do in this case is I will have a sorted map saying that Z has a frequency of 2, C has a frequency of 4, 1, 2, 3, 4 and A has a frequency of 1. Now let's start building the corresponding answer. So I will I know that I have to always take the maximum frequency first so I will start taking Z. Okay I take Z. I again can take Z because obviously I can take Z at max thrice. This is gone. Now uh, I can now take C but I can take C at max three times only. So this is one remaining but now I have to go on to other character. Okay I will now take A. Now you want to ask Aryan what if this A would have been two then what I will take. Okay that's a question for you. Answer me right now below. I will tell you with a bigger example. So I will take one A and then I will again come back to C. Do you see why? Did you see why I take only one A? Only one A was required because my repeat limit would exceed if I just continue taking C. But on the same hand also, I should make sure that if any higher character I have, I should put them first. So I come back again to C and then repeat it. Now again, let's see if I repeat the same process. I have A, 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 times. I have B, 1, 2, 3 times. My repeat limit is 2. So firstly, I know I will put it B uh, twice. This will become 1. Now, I will I will have to, have to go on to the next character, which is A in this case. I'll put 1A, but then I will again come back to B. Because I should make sure that any high any high character I should put it first. I'll put it a B, and then this is gone. So only thing remaining will be these A's. I will try to place these A's. Now the moment I try to place these A's, oh, as soon as I place two A's because the limit was two, I still have one character remaining. But Aryan, you mentioned that it is always good to place all the characters. Yes. It is always good to place all the characters considering you can place them. But in this case, no matter what, you you cannot place any other character because uh, you might say, Aaron, why not? I can place here. The moment you place here, it will become lexicographically smaller than the this string which you found out. So out of all the strings which you can find, you have to bring a lexicographically larger because a simple B is lexicographically larger than a simple AB. So this is the reason you will always take this one and not this one. Thus, in this case, I could not take last A and my answer is finally this. Let's take a very quick big example. Here I have Z multiple times. Again, I did not shuffle it because it's of no point. I still have to bring out the corresponding frequencies. Now my repeat limit is 2. What I will do? Okay, obviously I will take corresponding Z. I will take Z, but I can take only twice. Okay, this has reduced to 3 frequency. Obviously, I will have to go to the next character because I will have to place something. You, not, not, now, you might ask, Aaron, what if there is no next character at all? In that case, okay, obviously, your final answer is this one only. So, you have to do nothing. But now, I will take one C because I will have to make sure that I am following this repeat limit. I will put it as V. Now, I again come back to Z and then again, I put two Zs. Again, this is reduced to one. Again, I will have to put something in between. I will again reduce it. It, it will again become a C. Again, I will have to come back because obviously Z is the one which is, you know, God for me. Again, this is now reduced. Now I can again easily go and put corresponding how many Z's I want. I can only put two Z's together. This is become like this became one. Then I will have to place some delimiter between. The delimiter here is A. It is now frequency of one. Again, come back to Z and again put another C here. And the last one A here. So this will be your corresponding answer. So at any point of time, you simply saw that I'm always taking the max frequency uh, character, sorry, max character as the character to place first. So my map will be sorted in the descending order on the basis of this character. And then at every point, I am just concerned about the current character and the next character. Current character. If its frequency is gone, I will simply remove it from my map. But if it is not gone, then I will simply take the this one and the corresponding next one. That's it. I will only play between these two until the first one is gone or the second one is gone. If the second one is gone, then I will take the later one. What if you might ask, what if its frequency would have been two, but its frequency would have been three. Then if C would have been finished, I would have simply removed it. And then I would have jumped on to using Z A like as in uh, after Z taking A because ultimately my first priority is taking Z. 
then as a delimiter anything which is after it cool let's see the code again uh, it's exactly same as what i told i will take a map in which it is character and the corresponding frequency sorted by corresponding character on the basis of decreasing character uh, occurrence then is a frequency map i will simply update my frequency map then until my frequency map is empty which means i still have something left i will simply grab out the begin begin is the character having the max character like who is having max character itself i will grab its iterator and then i will simply grab the current character and the corresponding count for it now count simply here defines how many of such current character i can place right now so i know this is the corresponding count which is the repeat limit or whatever the frequency what if the what if the repeat limit is 5 but my my count itself is let's say 3 so i can only please place three characters right no matter how many characters i could actually place let's say i i, I could place 5 but i only have 3 so i'll only place 3 then i will append all these uh, count number of current characters in my result and then i will also decrease my this corresponding frequency by this corresponding count now the fun part starts what if what if this becomes zero which means here you remembered you were placing z now z had a frequency of five you placed only two z's and the frequency became three so this step made the frequency of z as three what if the frequency of z would have been two or maybe let's say one in that case it would have become a zero now in that case it is no point to even take it in your hash or in your map ordered map so i'll simply remove from my ordered map because my ordered map takes keys as consideration to sort things and if i will not remove it then in the next iteration this thing begin will start pointing me back to this higher value of character i should remove it if it is still some non-zero value which means if the it it, it was five, five earlier now it became three it is still non-zero value then if you still have some more character obviously this is still in the map if you still have another character inside your map, it can be any character, whatever, whatever you want. And you have any other character in your map, let's say its frequency is anything, even if it is one. You have something else in, in your map, then you will simply go and ask for its next iterator, which means my IT will become here. It is simply my after doing this is my begin and this is my next next of begin i will simply get the next character which is this one i will simply do one only one i will only push one frequency of this i will not push a uh, repeat number of times no because this is only this next is only used as a delimiter so only push it once so i'll only push it once and then also reduce its frequency by one but after reducing its frequency by one if it becomes zero which means it is no longer required at all so simply also remove it at the current step only and i will simply erase it from my hash map but if you say okay Aryan, what if i don't even have anything which means i only had that one character or one uh, character left obviously there's nothing you can do simply break it no matter if you have still remaining some count still you cannot do anything simply break it and ultimately this is your responding answer now time for this is simply as you can see you are going on to all the characters technically in worst case uh you could go but again this you might feel like okay Aryan, uh, this will take just of 26 times no it can take more based on what is the corresponding frequency so in worst case i can go to all the like kind of all the characters i will be actually uh, inferring or taking and especially this line would append all these characters so ultimately this will take o of n time in worst case and considering you are using a map in which you only have 26 keys thus your composite will be o of log of 26 and space because again you are using a map in which you have 26 keys this space will be over 26 and that is your time again there are multiple ways to solve it you can solve it by a, a priority key also that's the same complexity you can use it by a set also same complexity you can use it by array also but again in that you will have complexity of n to 26 and uh time will be sorry space will be 26 so again uh, nothing much difference still everything is o of n only but yeah that is multiple ways to solve it cool i hope you guys got it if yes then please smash the like button it helps a lot bye bye take care